Okay, now we come to NCI. Okay, previously under the example that we have done earlier, so there is no NCI because holding takes over 100% shares in the subsidiary account. So you don't have an NCI in the S account. So NCI only arises when H do not take 100% shares in S. So there are two options. So let's see. NCI not at fair value. Okay, so we're going into the not at fair value first. Okay, given below are the statements of financial position of H and S on 1st January 2002 immediately after H acquired the shares. So, uh, the date of acquisition is 1st 1st 2002. Okay, this account has already have investment here. So, this will be the consideration transfer. So, consideration transfer is 800,000. How many shares were purchased? 600,000 shares were purchased but the payment is 800,000 okay so the story is so H acquired 600,000 ordinary shares of S on date of acquisition 1st January 2002 for 800,000 cash so it is H policy to measure NCI equal to its proportionate shares of net asset of subsidiary meaning not at its fair value okay the fair value as of date of acquisition is 1 ringgit 25 cents per share okay so let's see how is it calculated okay this calculation arises because you have to calculate the goodwill on console. Okay, first you have the consideration transfer, which is 800,000. Okay, so NCI. So NCI will be uh, calculated from your net asset. Okay, shareholders fund of S, ordinary shares of S is... 800,000 and the share premium is 40,000 and the retained profit is 60,000 okay this is as the date of acquisition so so you add up all of it you get 900,000 okay how do you get the 25% okay the 25% is the share held by NCI okay because the total shares of S is 800,000 okay but H acquire 600,000 and therefore S still holds 200,000 right so S holds 200,000 okay from 800,000 so you will calculate that will be 200 from 800 that is oops sorry 200 divided by 800 okay times 100 so you need the percentage at 25 percent okay so NCI holds 25 percent so 900,000 times 25%, that gives you 225. So if NCI holds 25, that means H holds 75. So this is just a note. Okay. So you add up 800 plus 225, you get 1,025,000. So you less of the net asset. So this will be your goodwill. Voila. So, the preparation of your console so you will have your goodwill here okay the others is the same remember sundry asset you add both okay shareholders ordinary shares premium is only holding 
okay uh, and then you have the NCI okay this is a new item so the new item here will be NCI so where do you get 225 from your previous calculation 225 here so this amount goes to your CBS your console account if you do not include that then your CBS your console account will not balance so you add this on so the others are the same as we what we have discussed earlier so it will balance both sides okay now just to show you the difference of NCI at fair value the only difference being here instead of NCI remember earlier you only you took the calculation as 900,000 times 25% okay at fair value it's calculated as the shares held by NCI which is 200,000 unit times the fair value $1.25 so you get this amount instead of 225 you get 250 so the others is the same so instead of you get 125 goodwill your goodwill now here is 150,000 so that is the only difference okay this is a uh, another step okay uh, H has acquired 75% of the ordinary shares capital of S okay on the date of acquisition which is 1st January 2004 okay at the date of acquisition S has a credit balance of 10,000 in its retained profit okay so on the 31st December 2006 okay this is after the takeover period so the retained profit of H is 23 and S has 30,000 okay so the pre-acquisition profit of S is 10,000 so 10,000 okay pre-acquisition profits which is at the date of takeover there is a credit balance of 10,000 so out of this pre-acquisition KH is entitled to 75% which is 7,500 okay and the balance 2,500 belongs to NCI okay the difference between the current year and profit balance of 30,000 okay so you list off the pre-acquisition 10,000 so your post profit is 20,000 so current 30 minus pre-acquisition 10 so this will give you post acquisition 20 so from from this post H is entitled 75% and the balance 25% NCI okay so in the group's retained profit group meaning H so H profit balance okay this profit balance is from its uh, own account okay Yes, this is from oh nothing related oh sorry here it is so H retains profit is 23,000 so that is H balance okay add on whatever H is getting from S so post okay pre is not included because pre is included in the goodwill's calculation so what goes into the retained profit of H is only from the post acquisition profit remember pre where does it goes okay it goes to calculation of goodwill so 23 plus okay 30 minus 10 times 75 percent so H is getting 15,000 so now it goes to console your console will have 38,000 retained profit okay 
Now we're going into example 7. So example 7 will be a bit long because this will show you the preparation of console account. Okay. So this account okay, has already included the investment. Okay. So that means it shows you that H took over as uh, by purchasing 160,000 ordinary shares per value 1 ringgit consideration transfer 250,000 when is the date of acquisition okay where is the date okay here H acquired 160,000 ordinary, sh ordinary shares of S on 1st January 2005 okay during the takeover Okay, S accounts have this balance. Okay, they have. So that means on the 1st January 2005, when H uh, was taking over S, S has share premium 50. So this is a pre, okay. Revaluation reserve, pre. Retain profit, pre. Okay, of this amount. So this amount will be used to calculate your goodwill. Okay, so let's see the difference. Okay, current. So this is a 31st December 2008. So that I this is, uh, there will be some difference in the current share premium. So the current share premium now is 50,000. Oops. Okay, there's no changes. Pre is 50,000. So there is no post. Okay, let's see on the revaluation reserve. So, revaluation reserve, current is 20. Okay, pre is 15. So, you have post, 5,000. Okay, let's see on the retain. Okay, retain profit current is 30. Okay, pre is 20. So, post is 10. Okay. So, now, let's see on the preparation okay first step okay the first step is you got to know what is the percentage held by H so H takes over 160 out of 200,000 unit shares so H holds 80 per 80% S or the NCI holds 20%. So it only holds about 40,000 unit of shares. Okay. So the analysis of pre and post. Okay, this is the this is the first step. This is the second step. Okay. Oops. Okay. So let's see. The share premium first. Okay, the share premium. The current is 50. The pre is 50. There's no post. Okay, out of this. Okay, pre-acquisition. Out of the pre-acquisition. Okay, H is entitled to 80%. So, 80% of 50,000. So, H will take 40,000. So, that means this 50,000, you have to. Break it up. 40,000 goes to H and the balance 10 goes to NCI. Okay. So the same thing goes to the revaluation. Okay. Current is 20. Pre is 15. So your post is 5. So from the pre. So pre take out 80% and you go give it to H and the balance 20% goes to NCI okay this is the pre now the post okay post acquisition okay post acquisition 5000 okay 80 percent will go to H and the balance 20 percent will go to NCI okay got it okay the written profit okay current is 30 Minus pre, then you get post. Okay, break up the pre. 80%, 20%. 5,000 
from pre. What about the post? Okay, break it up. 10, 80% goes to H and the balance 20% goes to NCI. Okay, important second step. Okay, now third step. The calculation of goodwill. Okay. The consideration transferred is 250,000. Okay, look here. 250,000. Okay. Okay, so how do you calculate NCI? So in order to calculate NCI, you got to calculate the net asset first. So the ordinary shares added uh, 200,000. Okay, share premium, revaluation reserve, and retain profit, you take up from the pre. 50, 15, and 20. 50, 15, and 20. Okay, just the pre. So the shares plus the pre, you get 285. Okay, from 285, 20% is NCI. So you add up, so you get the total. And you minus off the net asset, then you get your goodwill. So this will go to your CBS, correct? All right. Now, okay, you go to the preparation. Okay. So. How do you prepare your console? Same thing. First, put on, put your goodwill here. So, we calculated the goodwill is at 22,000. So, it goes here, 22,000. Your sundry asset. Okay, sundry asset is adding up. 490 plus 350. Okay, you will get 840. Ordinary shares, okay, ordinary shares only comes from your holding, correct? Okay, and then the share premium. Okay, the share premium comes from, okay, remember here. Share premiums, 100,000. Okay, here there is no post. So, nothing to add up. So, it goes as 100,000. Okay, group revaluation reserve. Okay. Revaluation reserve is 40,000. Okay, here. There's a post. Okay, how, where is the post? Remember, you calculated it earlier. The revaluation reserve. Okay, 40. Okay, group revel revaluation reserve is 44. Okay, so there's a post of 1, there's a pre of 3. So this amount, 4,000, you add up with the 40,000 from H. So you get the 44,000. Okay. The retained profit. Okay, written profit is a bit long, so let us have a look at the working. Okay, the group retained profit here. So this one comes from what H has earlier. One hundred thousand. Okay, this is what it has earlier. Okay, the retained profit, okay, this is the calculation from uh, S okay, so look here. So the retained profit is 24,000. So post 8 pre acquisition 16. Okay, so the retained profit takes up the post. The pre is not included because the pre has been uh, 
uh, parts to the goodwill calculation okay so you have 108 the total okay and then um, oops, sorry okay so you have the group retain profit so and then NCI okay, NCI so NCI is an account that you add up everything okay okay this amount okay where does it comes from the acquis uh, the adjustment the adjustment is when you calculate your goodwill you found that 57,000 okay so it goes here and then the post and the post okay so whatever NCI post 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 pre is not included because pre has already been included here remember so here's all the pre so it has already been included in the 57,000 so you only take the post so you add all of this up then you transfer this to your console account so there you have it 60,000 and the liabilities is just adding up holding and subsidiaries amount so both of these will balance okay it is uh, not as difficult as you think just go through back again once you get the idea once you get the step that's it you're home free